Johnny, what's up? I'm Mark Boyerud, and I'm an artist. I basically take a lot of pictures with a camera like this and put them in here in the computer and then paint on them or paint pictures and photograph those and put them in the computer and I just put all the stuff together. Um, and it's usually without any kind of preconceived notion of how it's going to come out. And then I just keep adding things and adding things, kind of like maybe like a chef would do. I like the way they looked. They had a really unique kind of individual style. They all looked, every, everyone looked different. You know, not they didn't all have great this great, fabulous New York bike messenger style, but many of them did. So I just stopped them on the street and I give them my card and say, Hey, how you doing? I want to take a picture. Come on over after you're done today. And they would come over about half the time they'd show up. They'd come upstairs and I, show, I took the pictures I did for about 15 years. This one guy was like, you know, hey man, no, I'm not, just not interested. But most, most people are friendly, you know. Most people are nice. For, for me, New York is just like the juice. You know, it has all this juice, all this energy that really no place else that I've ever been has. And I was in the East Village last night, it's like, wow. It's like, there's so much stimulation and so much visual stimulation. Everywhere you look, there's something. Hey, Eddie, you can run. Walk or fly. I love you, pretty baby. I hate to see you cry. I was always like the best artist in school and stuff. And then I moved from North Dakota east, like towards the end of high school, and it was like not cool to be an artist um, and an athlete. And I did both. So I kind of just like dropped art so I could fit in. And, um, <laughs> And then I picked, didn't pick, really start with it again until like after college. You know, I got this, my first real job was at Macy's, being their like head fashion photographer. And that was like a really pretty, at the time, I don't know if they still have that job or not, but at the time it was a really choice job. There were only like two or three like really cool staff jobs in New York. And that was one of them. Yeah, me, Archive Magazine, which is like, um, it's an industry publication and a pretty important one. It publishes like the best, for lack of a better word, advertising photographs in the world every month, almost every month. And uh, they've selected this picture to use in a major advertising campaign for their magazine. So a picture like this is important to me because it, it just, it really shows me that the pro how the importance you of the process. How it's real it's really all about that. You know, they say it's not about your destination, it's the path you're on. It's kind of like that with art too, for me. It's one person and he's like holding himself. It's like a good angel, bad angel, or like white angel, dark angel, or something like that. And um, I took it in the East Village because there are all these cool little um, gardens in between the buildings where buildings have been burned down or whatever in the old days and people have made these beautiful little gardens and I thought wow what a cool place to make to start this story. The wings are they're like real bird wings and um, I shopped around I looked around for wings and I went to the place that rents them for Victoria's Secret fashion show and those were pretty cool wings but they looked like 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 made up wings. They didn't look like real wings. I wanted something that was really realistic. So um, I couldn't find anything. I called a taxi journalist. I called dozens of them really and found one in New York. And the guy was really nice and we talked on the phone and I told him what I wanted and what I was up to. And he said, well, yeah, I think I could I can help you. I called him. I just want to be able to contribute at a really high level. I want to play a really big game in this area. And I'd like to get my pictures, and particularly my fine art, out to as many people as possible. It makes me really happy to know that, you know, some, a picture is like up on somebody's wall and they can look at it every day and they, you know, and they can be happy about it. I can't use you anymore. Say it.
Dream in the way you do All the city How come you treat me in the way you do I love you I don't love no one but you I cry I cry all night long But you know you're doing me wrong I tell me What you want your man to do Oh, city What you want your man to do I love you 